Thank you for tuning back in to the Loss Prevention News Network. I'm Amber Bradley with our co-host. Joe LaRocca, <laughs> and here with our special guest, Stuart Levine, who's president and CEO of the Zellman Group. Stuart, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Amber. You're welcome. Now, Stuart, um, in an earlier segment today, I overheard you speaking with Gus about some of the work you're doing with the Zellman Group um, around topics like organized retail crime, gift card fraud, uh, and you made mention of a CNBC interview that just aired a few weeks ago. Um, tell us a little bit about what it is you're seeing and tracking and how Zellman's uh, attacking some of these issues. Sure. It, it has to do with gift card fraud and the, uh, the expansion of opiates into the households throughout America. And it was a segment that they did. It was only nine and a half minutes long. But I was really touched. They were, there were young girls that had children that were in rehab. They were stealing large amounts of merchandise, converting it to gift cards, and feeding their drug habit. And they forgot about their kids, and they were just going after the drugs. And um, you know, we're really, really looking for a solution for our retail clients. Well, um, we're actively engaged with a company called Retail Theft Analytics and their uh, president, Matt. And we're looking to gain gift card exchange information from all the exchanges through Retail Theft Analytics to be able to service our retail clients. Okay, and as you look at the information coming in from the gift card exchanges, um, you know, historically, retailers, mm -hmm. when they've reached out, have said, well, they're, they're fencing them at pawn shops, they're fencing them at the kiosks that you see inside the store. In some cases, it's easy to block the IP addresses to prevent them from checking the balances, which eliminates their, their ability to trade it in. Um, what does retail theft analytics do different and how will that tie in to what you're offering retail industry go forward? Well, they're getting all of the buyer information from the third parties. It, it includes, um, th there was also a special last year in Florida, I believe it was in Tampa, there was a $3 million case with a retail store. And there was a piece in this nine and a half minutes I was talking about where they're proud of what they've done. They have gift cards over the entire walls that they've purchased from people and they resell them. So they're, it, it's really, it's a fencing operation. And um, they were very proud that they buy these gift cards. I mean, when's the last time, I don't know about you, Amber, but Joe, um, when's the last time you took a gift card and went to an exchange and took 60 <laughs> cents on the dollar? I mean. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, Joe, fuss up. Never, <laughs> never. It wasn't the last 24 hours. No. No, I didn't think so. No. See, that's my WZ No, you're, not, you're not supposed to let me say no. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Hold on, no. hold on. Before you <laughs> answer that question, just wait one second. I mean, was it the first time you did it in 24 hours, was it? I didn't think so. No, of course Sorry. not. Oh, I digress. My God. You are no, not no, no. No, <laughs> no, 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 damn it, no. <laughs> but I've played one on the D&D Live News Network before. With, so it works with out. With Stuart right in the middle. Yeah, I know. But you are a CFI, aren't you, Stuart? I am. I know. I know. See how? See what I did there? Bring That's it all right. home. Bring it, Bring all, it all home. home. Stuart, you know, we were talking, um, you do a lot of travel. You do a lot of great work around the country. Um, we could talk about the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial and your consistent support of the program. But in doing all of that, we know you also travel quite a bit. And to, to bring it in for our viewers at home, support NLEOMF first. But Absolutely. also from a travel Hashtag. perspective, what are some of the travel tips that you would suggest people um, look at when they're going on that next business trip? Oh, good question. I would say only fly to or from a city that it never rains, has wind, snow, ice, or frost yes. of any kind. Yes, that's a, that's a good one. Write okay. that down, all you people out there. Don't fly ever. He might be talking gonna... about Los Angeles, and it's still horrible. <laughs> oh, it really doesn't rain? Well, I was out there last week, and eight homes went over the cliff into yeah, the ocean. Yeah, so there's plenty of rain out there. Yeah, just a little. So travel hacks, though, seriously. Okay. So that's because, look, the majority of our audience, right, LP folks, you guys are on the road quite a bit. So I've got a couple. Download some fun podcasts, maybe, from talklp.com. Or what about you? You've got some podcasts that you listen to. Go, uh, go to your local library, get a free account there, and you can download audiobooks and movies for they have free. Libraries in LA. Libraries in LA. Wow. Yeah. A few, wow. a few, a few of you have time to go to few, the library. A few of us. No, no, all online, all oh. free. You actually download the audiobooks. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. A 
few of us go to the library. Look how and academic read. Joe LaRocca is. I know. This is awesome. So out of character for me. No, it's not. I love that about you. You, yeah. Right. So, Spot so there's there's my library tip. That's a good. Tip. Well, if you're going to listen to the podcast, bring your charger. Bring your charger. And yeah. hope you're on an airline that has an outlet or a USB. That's right. I don't get that. Airlines today that don't have plugs by your seat. What is with that? What is with that? I need a plug. I'm working on the plane. It's the only place you have some peace and quiet. I'll tell you something else. Just because we just now turned this into my travel therapy session, if they ever allow cell phones on a plane, I'll never fly again. You know where you can talk on your cell phone on a plane. It's crickets, radio silence. You guys want to talk on cell phones on your plane? What about no. the lady that's really loud no, talking I about the, the meal she just ate that was terrible? Who cares? No. Right? Well, well you, I agree with that, but I would like to be able to talk <laughs> on my happening? cell phone, but Preach. without others being able to do the same. Oh, well, good for you. Good for you. Like a lotto. <laughs> no, like a lotto when selfish you get on the plane. The problem, here's the problem. The problem with people and their cell phone on airplane, it's, when I tell you this, you'll go, yeah, that's so true. And listen, when you get on your plane going home, my mom, when we talk on the phone, if, if I was local, she's just normal tone of voice, right? But if I was traveling, honey, can you hear me? Honey, honey. <laughs> People on airplanes, how annoying they that they have out. to tell you every detail. The person on the phone, well, I'm traveling right now. I just got onto the oh, airplane. I'm sitting why? at the window. Now, I'm on Delta Airlines, and I'm flying to New York, and I'll be gone for a week and a half, and Johnny is taking care of Fifi. Nobody cares. How it about doesn't the matter anymore. Of the plane, though? That's what I get. Well, the plane's a 323 or a 235, and it's a 797. I don't. Uh, okay. A 797. Yeah, yeah. Where are you flying out well, of? I want to fly. I, I want one of those. I'm just saying. Why? I'd be happy on a Dreamliner right now. Oh, Look. no kidding. Yeah, right? Going to a warm place. Going to a warm place. So, other annoying things on the plane. So, my, I already mentioned the fact people bring on smelly food. I don't understand that. You didn't that's mention that, but that's a good one. How yes. about never check a bag, ever? Okay. What about shoes that have to come with you? Ship them. You put them in a bag, or if you're bringing too many, which I'm probably, I'm sure you do. Yes, of course. Ship them. Good point. Ship you can shoes. ship them. There's these companies, you UPS, guarantee it? Federal Express. Do you Express. track it, or you just go? Oh, like the airline guarantees it? Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> UPS. How are you supposed to know? So, Joe ships his dirty clothes home in a box. So if you if you're around, we're like, airing my dirty little, laundry the right here on live, literally, uh, airing, literally, dirty literally laundry. airing dirty laundry right here during a segment. <laughs> All right, what else? What else? Travel hacks or things that are annoying? Okay, well, Stuart brought up a good one, which is um, go to the go to the airport without any uh, inclement weather. Right. Yes. Uh, earlier, he suggested another one, which is pick one or two airlines and stick with them. Yeah. Yep. Try to get status yeah. on the airline because when you are delayed. They will help you first. That's true. And they also give you a phone line you could get through quicker to get rerouted when you need to and not wait. I actually had a week and a half ago, I had a flight and I called Delta, I called the Diamond Desk, and it said, please enter your phone number, push pound, and we will call you back in. And there's a delay four to four and a half hours. Wow. Now, I had no idea where I would be in four or four and a half hours or if I'd be able to take a phone call. So I bagged the whole trip. Oh my gosh. That was the diamond line? That was the diamond hours? line. Well, you know, we got 18 inches of snow, oh. followed with ice, followed by uh, a frozen pipe that exploded and then yep. froze everywhere. Didn't you see the pictures? I on, did. I saw yeah, the news. All the bags That's in the crazy. snow pile. That's why you say don't check your bag, because it, it could end up bag. at JFK in a flood. In the flood. No, the favorite thing is, though, when they do lose your bag, they ask you for receipts for everything that was in the bag. Right. Right. Even if I had Gap, I'm wearing Armani. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, well, maybe hmm, our... perfect LP person, huh? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe our travel tip should be you photograph everything you're putting into your suitcase. Oh, good And one. that way when you go to file the claim, oh. you know exactly what you've lost. Great idea. You know right? Joe's laying out every shirt on his bed. <laughs> yeah, that's picture. exactly what I do every trip. <laughs> right, let's see, I'll take the blue one and the red one. Oh, I lost the blue one. It was a banana republic. No, seriously, do you, you know when you rent a car, here's a travel hack. Here's a travel hack. Here's a travel hack, a, travel hack, a, a legit He's one. He's got some good ones. Are you renting a car? Take your phone. Take pictures and video of the rental car for any damage that might be there. <laughs> and that way, when you turn it back in, if they accuse you of something, you've got clear proof. That's a great one. Yeah, that's true. Would not have helped me when I ran into a gas station pole when I rented a car in Boston. Well, that was Would probably not, probably, no. Uh, not the no. car No, what you fault. do is you, go, you bring it. Is this an honest tip or dishonest tip? <laughs> I'll bag it. <laughs> Don't do it. Wait, I have one more personal f travel rule. Okay, go. I'm going to get, this will be cut. Okay. Well, so is you no. bumping me out of the frame every two seconds, but go ahead. I think it's the other way around. <laughs> what is it? 
It is. I have a five-minute rule. If you're waiting to use the restroom and there's someone before you in there for five yeah. minutes or greater, don't do it. Don't go, go, don't go in there. Go to a different, That's a good yeah, tip. different stall. Yeah. Mm -mm. Different for women, though, because women could take five minutes in there. Don't know why. Why Not would you sure. want to be in there for I'm five minutes? I'm just saying. It's a good tip. Women may have to... That's incredibly helpful. Yeah. So another really good travel yeah. hack you I'm might consider sure we is human. look at the credit cards that offer you the best mileage and the That's way to book. One. As an example, if you have certain American Express cards, if you book through their travel agency, you'll get double or triple the points as opposed to going online and booking it directly. What? Yes. The other interesting point, if you're trying to save a little money, especially on vacation, continue to monitor the flights, sometimes your credit card will offer you uh, discounted airfare or the airline might price match. So you get discounted vacation. So keep an eye on those. At the end of this day with all these episodes, we're going to crown the travel guru. And I dare I say you are in the running is, for number this one. This is like flyer it's talk. Been pretty impressive. Oh, it would not be five minutes for number one, Amber. <laughs> and, and we digress. We went right back there. <laughs> right back. You tried to bring it right? up. We're trying to bring it up, and he brings it right back. So we really appreciate those Zelman support of uh, this digital conference because seriously, for those folks that don't get to go to any trade shows or maybe just one, this is a perfect way to tune in, get some value from both solution providers and retailers. Yes, and Stuart, I think um, I would made mention earlier about the, the law enforcement memorial. Um, this is an important topic. I know you and I have talked about this a little before. Uh, the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund, uh, which gets the most press exposure during police week, of course, and the candlelight vigil in May. Um, tell us a little bit about what is going on with the memorial. There's some big um, the events. Museum. There's some big things happening in the next 18 months. Tell us a little bit about what they're up to in Washington. I think the coolest thing is the museum, I believe, is slated to open fall of 2018. We are in 18, right? We yeah. are, yes. yes. And the cool thing about the museum is, what they're trying to do, is they want kids to go through with their parents and have an interaction with police that's not negative. To be able to see what police officers do, shoot, don't shoot, decision making, how telecommunications work, and you know, they, Motorola has a big area where they're talking about police radios and 911 and, and how it all comes together. Um, they, they show police um, in dangerous situations. They show police coming out to assist fire and ambulance on roadside accidents. And uh, it's going to be fascinating because there is no national law enforcement. Yeah. I think the um, other interesting part of the museum, which is will be located in Washington, D.C., just outside of Judiciary Square, um, this is set up as a family event. So there's an interactive area for children mm -hmm. to understand more about law enforcement. And then the, the museum itself will go through some of the, the deep history of law enforcement agencies, um, the, the major crime cases, and, and the uh, uh, pieces of evidence and clues and, and some of the technology used to solve those uh, legacy crimes of the past. But also right across the street, is the memorial set up to honor the fallen men and women uh, for decades before us um, that have lost their lives uh, battling crime and, and while they're on duty. So a very uh, um, uh, humbling place to visit uh, if you're in Washington, D.C. And you would think we'd already have one of those, we, which would is think. amazing. You know, a lot of cities or states have it, but there's no national. That's Over 20,000 names on those limestone walls. Wow. It's a lot. Oh, too many. 20,000 too many. 20,000 too many. many. Yeah. For sure. And so a little bit about Police Week. So uh, in the month of May, uh, there is a national event. It's called Police Week. And in Washington, D.C., law enforcement agencies from around the country really take over the city. Uh, it's a time to honor the, their men and women and their colleagues that have fallen in the line of duty. But they also do a number of things. They run, uh, they do have a bike um, marathon mm -hmm. from New York. There's three York starting York? places. Each one of them is 300 miles away from the memorial. And you ride for three days. And they raise millions of dollars each year. Um, the minimum uh, rider, I believe the minimum is $1,750. They have to get in donations to be able to take the ride. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah. 
So switching gears just briefly. So one of the episodes that Gus is going to cover is talking about loss prevention and how you use social media, right, to to do investigations and things like that. But talking about LinkedIn for oh a second, right? So we've got a little wager going on because a couple years ago we did Facebook, right? Do you accept coworkers as friends or not? And then there's another debate going on is should you accept all the connections that you get requests for, right? Or should you just only do the the folks that you know only connect with the people that you know so what is what's your take on it you connect it with everybody or just the people that you know so i'll use an airline analogy for you okay if you sit next to somebody on a plane and they're interesting you'll communicate with them if they're not or they're annoying you don't i do the same thing with linkedin first of all if a competitor sends me a request why on god's earth would i give them access to all my network that no makes idea. no sense no sense so i don't accept them um, i also don't accept somebody that i don't understand what their business is or I'm not interested in the business. Or what about the blank lines that cross the headline? They're just dashes that says nothing. No, I hit that little X. Yeah, declined, you're declined. Yes. All right, so we will bring you more LinkedIn and travel hack tips, but more importantly, thank you so much, Stuart and Zelman, for sponsoring this event. And we're gonna send it over to Gus Downing. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks, Amber. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, Stuart.